More than two years later, the ugly truth about Benghazi continues to trickle out. This critical email, just released, that shows the Pentagon urgently offering help to the unfolding attack in Benghazi on September 11, 2012, and although it came after the first wave of the attack at the consulate, it occurred before a mortar strike on the CIA annex killed Ty Woods and Glenn Doherty. As Judicial Watch notes, the new email leaves no doubt military assets were offered and ready to go, and awaiting State Department sign-off, which did not come. In other words, the Pentagon was offering military assets that potentially could have saved the lives of American citizens, if only the State Department had signed off. Of course, we all remember who was leading the State Department at that time. Everyone's favorite leading Democrat candidate for president, Hillary Clinton. Via the right scoop, an email recently obtained by Judicial Watch shows that the Pentagon was demanding Hillary allow them to send help to Benghazi during the 2012 attack. This would completely contradict the claim from Hillary and Leon Panetta that no forces were available and within reach to provide help to the compound that was under siege. From Fox News, as the attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi was unfolding, a high-ranking Pentagon official urgently messaged Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's top deputies to offer military help, according to an email obtained by Judicial Watch. The revelation appears to contradict testimony Defense Secretary Leon Panetta gave lawmakers in 2013, when he said there was no time to get forces to the scene in Libya, where four Americans were killed, including U.S. Ambassador to Libya Christopher Stevens I just tried you on the phone but you were all in with S, apparent reference to then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, reads the email, from Panetta's Chief of Staff Jeremy Bash. After consulting with General Dempsey, General Ham and the Joint Staff, we have identified the forces that could move to Benghazi. They are spinning up as we speak. Ironically, Hillary Clinton and her minions were concerned with spinning the story instead of gearing up the military forces. Here's the email, read more.